happened to be there the whole time of my my period at Exeter. So he was 10 years old when I was first there and he went all the way through and he knew about Ollie all the way through because he was very athletic. He could, he could, he had good feet, he could score a goal. And he's being coached, he's being coached in the system. And it's, for me, it's a little bit, it's, it's a little bit uh, two dimensional, the, the system of coaching. Um, but he's one of the best players coming through and he's, he plays up front or he plays on the left wing. And he joins us as a young professional, so he's now 18. So he turns professional. Big potential. Everyone's spoken about him. And then he gets... He, he, hits, he hits a wall. The wall is professional football. The wall is match day. The wall is business. The wall is we've got to win this week. It's not about being coached to be a number 11. So, you know, Ollie spent 18 months, two years in the Exeter reserves. I think he went out on loan to Western Supermare for a year. Um, but he was a number 11 out on the left wing. And in his mind, he's thinking, well, the goalkeeper gets it and he rolls it out to the centre half. That's A. And the centre half, maybe back to the goalkeeper. That's B. And then B into the centre midfield player. That's C. Then C passes it to the number 10. That's D. And then D plays it out to the left back. And then E plays it to Ollie. And I'm F. So in this pro, I'm A, B, C, D, yeah, and I'll wait out here and I'll be number F, or the letter F. And I'd say, that's effing useless, Lolly. Why can't you be A? When the goalkeeper gets it, why can't you be looking for the ball? Then when it goes to the centre half, why can't you be the next one? Why have you got to be just this one player in this process? You, why can't you be everything? Why can't you be, why can't you be engaged in whatever's happening? And I remember going up to Scotland um, with a pre-season tour, so Ollie would have been 19. And when it was said at St Andrews in Scotland, and we had a pre-season tour, we played a couple of um, games up there, and Ollie didn't make the 24-man squad. So this is Ollie Watkins, who's now top scorer in the championship, 20 years old. He couldn't make our um, he couldn't make our pre-season tour touring party to Scotland. And then we had a, I wanted to take two 11s with a couple of spares, and we had a left back that got injured. I said Ollie, you've got to come along as a left back. I can't play left back. Yes, you can. Just come along as a left back. You're not, otherwise, you're, just, you're staying here, training on your own. So Ollie came as a left back and uh, he played in a couple of the games. And I remember coming off one game in particular, being so upset. You know, where's his career going? He's 20 years old or 19. He's 20 years old. Um, I'm not a left back. What my, I, can't, he, he, I, I honestly think he couldn't remember how to control the ball. He was thinking so hard he couldn't control the ball. So we had a sit down, Ollie and I, um, and this probably sums up how I think coaching should be. We had a sit down a, a, a month or two later, and I said, Ollie, you're gonna have to start again. You know, you are physically excellent, technically brilliant. You can score a goal. Your attitude is wonderful. Your personality is to die for. There's not a lot that should go wrong here, other than you are overthinking this. So we are going to completely um, alter the way you think. So the biggest problem is you don't get the ball enough. You're waiting out on the wing as F. I'm, a, I'm F. You're waiting for everybody else to get the ball to you. And what happens if the wind's blowing the other way and they can't kick it to the left and the wind takes it to the right? You're not going to get a touch. You've got to reposition yourself how you think. So the next reserve game we had, and it was Reading away, I said, um, we need to or you, you need to, in my opinion, try and have three headers per half, make three tackles, pick up three interceptions, and pick up three loose balls. Forget about anyone passing you the ball. So if you can, if you can tick all those four boxes, that's 12 touches you get in the first half, and then we repeat it again in the second half. That's 24 moments, heading, tackling, interception, and picking up loose ball. I knew for a fact he wasn't capable of doing those things. But that wasn't the point. The point was changing how he thought. So it started with the kickoff. He was playing in the diamond, I think. And he said to Danny Butterfield, who was playing in the game, when the, for the kickoff, roll it back and then chip it to me on the left and I'll head it. And he was being a little bit, a bit contrary with me. I'll just head it and that'll be one ticked off. You know, but get to the point as a player where you actually, 
you can get a little bit shirty and he was being contrary and just wanted to get so he, he, the ball was chipped up and he headed it so straight away he's, he's ticked one of those boxes and then it sort of went on then he got a tackle then he picked up a loose ball then he but it wasn't the fact that he was ticking those boxes to me it was the fact that he was then engaged with everything every time the goalkeeper got it he's thinking I might head this I'll call for it or if he kicks it somewhere else I'll be on the move because I might get it I might actually be on the piece I might be on the move and get it I'll get one of those picking up a loose ball so it wasn't about what actually happened technically it was about how he thought and he played so well and he got lots of passes and he kept picking the ball up and turning and I thought I picked him in the first team on Saturday it was away to Plymouth in the local derby down at Plymouth and I played in the same position which he hadn't played for me before that reserve game at Reading I was playing down at Plymouth and he got man of the match we won we won 2 0. Ryan Harley scored two goals with 2 1 or 2 0. 2 1 maybe. Ryan Harley scored two goals. And Ollie was brilliant. And that was it. And that was a moment. And then you just work off the back of that. All his training was there. His athleticism was there. The coaching was there. But it was then creating something where somebody could play with freedom, which then meant he had to be a centre forward. He couldn't be out on the, on the left wing. Um, now I see him playing centre forward again. I know why he's doing so well. He's in the game more. He's, he's engaged more rather than waiting on the wing. So it's trying to find something all the time which which engages a player and gets them back to playing on instinct and freedom, assuming they have had enough organisation and coaching within their structure that they, they know the positions. They know where they should be standing. They don't have to think about that all the time. So that's a great example of taking a player at 19, 20 that was literally overthinking everything and turning it around. Um, when I was 19, I wish I had me to tell me that.